Moodle is a highly customizable learning management system and works on a role hierarchy. So your experience of the site in terms of what courses and resources you can access will be dependent on how your site and your user account is configured. For example, trainers are able to set and create assessment and will therefore have a different view of the system. For the purposes of this video, I am currently logged in as a learner and am only able to access course content that I have been enrolled in. On the left hand side of the homepage, there are two blocks. The first block, My Courses, lists the courses that you are currently enrolled in. The second block, Navigation, assists you to navigate through the site easily. On the right hand side of the page, I am able to access my calendar and also view recent online learners. In the top right hand corner of the page, I can see my username and a drop down menu. When the menu is opened, I have the option to view the dashboard, my profile, grades, messages, preferences, or to log out. By selecting dashboard, you are presented with a new view of the site called the dashboard page. Some sites may also have the dashboard configured as the home page, in which case you will arrive on the dashboard as soon as you log into the LMS. The dashboard is a customizable page where you can quickly and easily access some information, such as the courses you are enrolled in, your calendar, upcoming events, view assessment and forum posts, as well as manage your private files. The customizations you make to the page will only affect your experience of the site and the changes will not appear elsewhere. To make changes to your dashboard, select Customize this page. You will now have the option to drag and drop the blocks on your dashboard into different locations. For example, I can choose to move my private files further down the page. I also have the option to hide or delete blocks from my dashboard. I can do this by selecting the drop down menu and then selecting either hide or delete this block. I'm quite happy with where it is, so let's leave it for now. If you wish to restore this page back to its default settings, you can do this by selecting reset page to default. Once you are happy with the changes you have made to your dashboard, you can stop making changes by selecting Stop Customizing this page. You have the option to store private files on your dashboard. To do this, navigate to the Private Files block and select Manage Private Files. Your private files can then be added to your dashboard. You have the option to either add single files using the Add icon or to create folders and subfolders to store your private files in. For example, let's create a folder now to store course notes in. Select Create Folder. You can now add single files to this folder by selecting it and then selecting the Add icon. You can now select the file you wish to add to your private files. Select Choose. You may also choose to give the file a name. Once you've done this, select Upload this file. Select Save Changes. The files will now appear in the Private Files block on your dashboard. On both the site page and the dashboard page, you have the option to dock and hide the blocks that appear on the page. To hide a block, say for example, the private files block, select the minus icon. To show the block, select the plus icon. To dock a block, select the left arrow icon. The block will now appear over here in your docked section. To undock this block, select the right icon. Another handy feature of Moodle is Global Search, which allows you to perform a keyword search everywhere on your Moodle site that you have access to. For example, you can search for a particular subject and it will bring up all related resources. 
Global Search is accessible by hovering over the magnifying glass in the top right hand corner. You can then enter in a keyword and perform a search of your Moodle site. From the drop down menu, you are able to make changes to your profile. By selecting Profile, you can see the basic information associated with your account and you also have the option to edit your profile. For example, from here, you can update your email address, contact details, location or add a photo to your account. You can also edit your profile by selecting Preferences from the drop-down menu. Preferences allows you to make more advanced changes to your Moodle account, including changing your password, languages and other site preferences.